Welcome to On The Move. And streaming costs? Yeah, I'd like to do that. Officer Rollins, um, <coughs> when you observed uh, Mr. Borley at first, where, where were his hands? Uh, one hand on a phone and one the other hand, I don't recall if it was on the sling or at his side, but I mean it wasn't deliberately on his weapon. Did you ever see him put his hand on the weapon itself? Only when uh, I asked him, I had made contact with him over my PA on my vehicle, and I had asked him to actually ground the weapon, and at that time he did, but he did it in a safe manner with the sling. He didn't make any move, furtive movements for the weapon. He actually lifted it with the sling and didn't touch the weapon. Correct, so. sir. Um, did you ever see, uh, in, in this initial contact time, did you see Mr. Worley make any furtive movements? No, sir. And while we not assume everybody knows what a furtive movement is, how would you, what would you describe a furtive, furtive movement to be? Any kind of quick, obviously a movement that, you know, as a police officer is going to heighten, you know, your awareness. I mean, if somebody, especially carrying a weapon, you know, you tell them don't make any, any movements toward the weapon and their hands move toward it where you, uh, where you just told them not to place a weapon or if they have a knife or something in their pocket, a bulge in their pocket and they start reaching for it, that's a movement that's obviously going to cause alarm as a police officer. Did, uh, so you didn't see Mr. Worley make any movements uh, that gave you any sort of alarm that he was going to go for his weapon? No, sir. Um, <laughs> other than the fact that the weapon was on him, was there anything about Mr. Worley that gave you concern that he was going to use that weapon? No, sir. So let's talk about um, the AR-15. Um, it's a semi-automatic weapon. Yes, sir. And uh, that means one pull, one bullet. One trigger pull, one bullet, right? Yes, sir. And same with the gun that you carry. Yes, sir. Um, and same with garden variety hunting rifles. Uh, yes. Uh, well, a semi-auto semi hunting rifle for the most part. I mean, I would say majority, yeah, or bolt action. But. Okay. Um, other than bolt action, it's just similar to a hunting rifle. Typically, I mean, in, in a semi, I, I guess in that action, that firearm action, a semi-auto would be the same function as that particular rifle, yes. Okay. Uh, and you guys had that check to make sure it wasn't? Wasn't fully auto. Wasn't and, fully auto? Yes, sir. And, and, and it wasn't found to be. During that time period, Mr. Worley was polite with you, right? Yes, sir. And he, he uh, I asked him to identify himself if he had any identification. He basically stated that he didn't want to identify himself, that he was expressing the Second Amendment rights. And at that point, I didn't, you know, make him pull out his ID. I didn't, you know, place hands on him. I didn't take his wallet out of his pocket. And at the time, they were checking the weapon. Other officers that were there checked the weapon to find out if it was fully auto. And... It was pretty minimal contact. It was pretty short. I don't. I don't want to touch the the weapon. They're pointing guns at me right now. And all right, I'm putting my rifle on the ground. Please do not shoot me. Oh, okay, I have two weapons pointed at me right now. If I am I being detained right now, officer? All right. Just so you know, officer, you're being video recorded right now. We got we got eyes on your weapon. You're fine. You're being video recorded right now. I just yeah, want to let you know. That's fine. Do Am I being detained right now? At the moment, yeah. What crime have I committed? I, no crimes have been committed at this point that we know of. Are Maybe you, your gun's stolen, I don't know. Are you aware that I have to be committing a crime or you have to have reasonable suspicion that I committed a crime? Talking. And he wasn't aggressive with you at all. No. Uh, and you were here earlier today uh, for a testimony from Ms. Pauser who testified that the barrel was pointing up of Mr. Wor uh, Worley's gun. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. Was the barrel pointing up at any time that you observed him? No, and I saw it was slung over his shoulder. 
like I said, like I said, I don't remember specifically if it was cross or over, but over his upper torso. All right. All right. Thank you. I'll be in detained right now, officer. Huh? Let me see your ID. No, thank you. What's that? No, thank you. No, thank you? No, thank you. Okay, why are you saying no, thank you? Uh, I know it's my Fourth Amendment right. I don't have to show you my identification. Okay, so you're not going to answer. Okay. What's your badge number? 1382. And your name? Devlin. Devlin. Cheers. 1375. Name? Trayer. You do know that you're required by law to actually give me your name when I, I just did. By pretty comfortable too. That's one thing I really like about this bag is the comfort level of it. Um, but anyway, so let me move on here and we'll start showing the back here, show the features. Uh, first thing first here, we got the front of it. 